Hi folks, I hope this video helps out. I would love to know. So, so whatever you do, please, 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 please let me know. Whatever you do, please, 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 please let me know. And also pray to focus on God. This also shall please the Lord better than an ox or bullock that hath horns and hoofs. The humble shall see this and be glad, and your heart shall live that seek God. For the Lord heareth the poor and despiseth not. The humble shall see this and be glad, and your heart shall live that seek God. For the Lord heareth the poor and despiseth not his prisoners. Let the heaven and earth praise him, the seas and everything that moveth therein. For God will save Zion. And will uh, Aaliyah, I have a question for you. Sure. If I pray for others to not be bored when they seek the Lord, would you would you uh, agree with me? Because because earlier, when I was when I was seeking the Lord uh, alone, I had a hard time concentrating. And I just got got so bored, and and I just stopped after I asked after I asked the Lord what He wanted me to do. So so, if I pray, would you mind agreeing with me? Okay, but but, do you mind if I if I record this for YouTube because because I am right now. Okay, sure. Okay. Heavenly, heavenly, Father, I confess my sins. I forgive those that have sinned against me. Lord, Lord, your word says, "Ask and you shall receive." Your word says. Draw nigh to God, and, and he will draw nigh to you. So, Lord, so, Lord, I ask you to not let your people or I or or my good friend, uh, Aaliyah, please don't let us be bored when we seek your face. I ask this also because Romans 10 says, Faith comes by hearing, hearing by your word, which is the Bible. I ask this for for Aaliyah, myself, and every mm, Christian in in mm, Jesus' holy name. Lord, thank you. Uh, amen. Amen. Father, I just come to you in prayer, Lord God. Thank you for this time god i thank you for your what your word does god i gotta ask god that as we read your words you would cleanse us um with your word god cleanse us from all unrighteousness cleanse us from all evil as um we have been reading in the psalm father david talks about um save me oh god for the waters have come up against my neck god let those who wait for you O oh lord 
Um, God of hosts, let them not be ashamed, Father. Um, Father, we just ask, God, that you would make peace to help us in the things that we need, Father. <sighs> Father, we just come, God, and we ask, God, that, God, anything that would be causing, Father God, um, distraction, Father, confusion, Father, or um, frustration, Father, boredom, Father. Father, I ask that you would completely, God, deliver us in our minds, Father, from every spirit, Father, that would be causing, Father God, um, uh, us to not focus, Father. Father, that you would completely heal and set free our minds, Father. In the name of Jesus Christ, I do pray. Amen. Lord, Lord, we thank you in advance because this yes, prayer is answered. Folks, Amen. folks, let me know how much this helps you or I'll be wondering, but never thank me. Please like, share, and, and subscribe. Psalm 23, a psalm of David. The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. He maketh me to lie down in green pastures. He leadeth me beside the still waters. He restoreth my soul. He leadeth me in the paths of righteousness for his name's sake. Yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil, for thou art with me. Thy rod and thy staff, they comfort me. Thou preparest a table before me in the presence of mine enemies. Thou anoint... Folks, folks, listen to me. As you heard when me and, when me and my friend uh, Aliyah prayed, I told you that, that when, I was, when I was listening to the Bible earlier on my own, alone, I was totally bored. Well, well, the purpose of, of, of this video is to end boredom while we read the Bible. So I recommend if you get bored when you listen to the Bible with no TV or video games or anything else, when you are totally alone, I suggest, I suggest reading Matthew chapters 6 and 7 with Romans 10, Hebrews 11, and, and John 14, and Malachi 3. And then after that, after that, ask the Lord to send you someone fun who will who will love reading the Bible with you, who who you will also love reading the Bible with too. Let me know if this helps or I'll be wondering, but never thank me. And when he had fasted forty days and forty nights, he was afterward and hungered. And when the tempter came to him, he said, If thou be the Son of God, command that these stones be made bread. But he answered and said, It is written. Man shall not live by bread alone, but by every word that proceedeth out of the mouth of God. Then the devil taketh him up into the holy... Folks, folks, since there will be times <coughs> when, when you will be reading the Bible alone, this part of the this part of the video is to is to deal with any 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 potential boredom that we may have or or see whichever term you prefer the next time we read the bible totally alone with the lord and nobody else Lord, Lord, I confess my sins. I forgive all those that have sinned against me. Lord, Lord, James 1 says, If any of you lack wisdom, let him ask of 
God who giveth to all men liberally. As long as we have faith, Hebrews 11 says, without faith it is impossible to please you. Romans 10 says, we get faith by reading the word of, 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 of God, which is the Bible. Matthew chapter 7 with John chapter 14 says, ask and you shall receive. Lord, Lord, I ask you to show us how we can have fun reading the Bible when we are alone, and I ask you to show us how we can avoid being bored when we are reading the Bible with, with every with every device turned off except the device we may use to read the mm, Bible. I ask this in in mm, Jesus, precious, holy, and in mighty name. Amen.